Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impressions tutorial using the Profusion Royals palette. I'm so excited, this is literally a $5 palette, literally like the biggest, cheapest palette at the drugstore. And it's absolutely amazing, so if you guys want to see how to recreate this look, keep on watching. To prime my lids, I'm going to use this little Smashbox lid primer in the color light. And I'm going to try this out. I've actually, I think I've used it one other time. Um, I would blend it out with my foundation brush, but that's got a lot of foundation left over on it. So I'm going to take my beauty blender. Oh, this product has like really nice coverage with I, is what I definitely look in, look for in a primer. Going back in with the same powder we used to bake our face from Physicians Formula on a G40 brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to set that primer. Now, the product this whole video is about is the Profusion Royals Palette. I'm so excited because this was $4.99, and if it's good, it may have been $5.99, but if this is good, I'm going to be so excited. I haven't swatched them. I've literally saved it for this video. So, I think I'm going to do a couple arm swatches to show you guys what it looks like, and I do it super quick, kind of like you saw in my Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette review. So, I'm just going to do some quick arm swatches, and then we'll get on to the Georgia tool. That tutorial. So here are all the arm swatches. I really, really am pretty impressed with the first four I swatched from the top row, which are It's Magic, Outshine, Cryptic, and Zenith. I was super impressed. And then I got to that Enigma. Yeah, Enigma. And it wasn't not very pigmented. And same thing with Midnight, which is down at the bottom row. Then I went into Madly, Spell, Spellbind. Yeah, Spellbind, Jade, and Sorcery. I think that's, yeah, Sorcery. Honestly, I can tell that all the shimmers are going to perform so nice just from the way and how creamy they swatch. And even when I swatch that first, like, terracotta orangey burnt color, that was so creamy and so pigmented. And you can tell that one really is going to perform very well. But I hope, like, the black and the blue perform okay on the eyes because those, um would be cool I don't know so I'm gonna first go in with cryptic which is that nice burnt orange right there um from the swatch this was very pigmented so I'm definitely tapping off that excess and going in very light-handed and I mean there's most definitely pigment there now I'm gonna go in with madly oh I just jabbed that with my finger okay I'm gonna go in with madly which is um a little bit darker with a little more red in it so I'm just using my same little blending brush and I'm just going to put that in the crease. On the arm swatch, I feel like you couldn't really tell and it didn't swatch great. But it is going into the crease and it's blending and it's adding pigment, so that's good. So I was using the Ma the Made You Look um, double-ended blending brush, but now I'm going to go into the Unique Deluxe brush, which is a little more... I'm um, going to help us get a little more concentrated into the crease. So I'm going to go in with Midnight, which is the black. And I really, really hope... I mean, I'm sure it'll work, like, enough. I'm actually going to tap it off. I'm just going to see how it starts. Oh. I mean... It's not, like, black, black, but... Okay, definitely it does get there. It gets black enough for what I'm going for and then um, as you can tell as you're blending it out though it goes up a lot like the black really didn't stay in the crease which also could be the brush I was using but so now now I'm going to cut the crease with a little elf smudge brush and my Estee Lauder double wear concealer and this is just a thick cream concealer in a little pan so I'm going to use this to cut my crease then I'm going to use my finger on the outer portion, which is really going to help with your blend. And I just tap out the outside portion of the concealer. Because I'm kind of doing like a half cut crease, so that's going to help it blend into the outer corner. I'm going to take a little flat brush, and a big flat brush, and I'm going to go in with the color Zenith, which is that really pretty gold, which swatched amazingly. So I have a feeling it's going to go in. Oh my gosh, it's literally... It's like super crumbly and almost like a good way where you know you're going to get so much pigment because it gets onto your brush real easily. And I'm going to pack that on the whole inner like half. Oh my gosh. This color is like gorgeous and it's it's like a perfect formula. 
then I'm gonna go in I'm just gonna kind of use the same brush wipe it off a bit and then I'm gonna go in with the color Jade which I have a feeling is not gonna be as like foiled and reflective but I want to go in oh my gosh I keep digging do you see how much damage I'm doing to this thing I literally keep digging with my my nails on accident but I'm gonna use the green now but the same thing as the gold is it, it gets picked up by a brush very easily oh yeah oh definitely has pigment that's for sure I'm gonna pop this kind of in like the centerish area and blend that into the gold just using my brush I'm literally gonna go in with the same brush we use for our highlighter just because it's a good little crease brush I got right next to me and I'm gonna go in with the color Enigma originally I was gonna plan on putting that on my lower lash line but I kind of want to pop it in the outer corner and see how it looks so it's pretty I mean it's not like the most pigmented thing ever but like I'm gonna like keep packing it on there and I'm sure we'll get somewhere it's gonna start kind of winging it out with the brush and the blue shadow and then I'll end up probably cleaning it up with like a little concealer I kind of want to because I feel like that blue just doesn't match the way it's blending into the crease so I think I'm just gonna take the first shade was cryptic which was the more orangey shade and I'm gonna like blend the blue into that and kind of try to get them to blend together we need to like lighten up this whole area because it's literally like black brown and like my eyebrow like there's really no in between I'm just quickly gonna take my Jeffree Star Thirsty palette because it's like the palette that's right in front of me and I'm gonna take parched I use any white or light bone shade and I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna like stamp it and using it kind of as like my eraser shade as I used to say and I'm just gonna literally like pack that on the whole brow bone and help lighten the colors at the top you can kind of tell it's getting a little better but and I'm gonna go in with a little more black deep in the outer corner just a little bit blend that in with the blue I'm gonna take the blue and I'm gonna run that on the lower lashes and I'm just gonna connect that to this little winged out area and just make it like one big line and going up up and out I feel like the best way to clean this out because I don't want to go in with like straight concealer I kind of want to bake the eyes so I might do that so I am just gonna like try my best to clean it up with my concealer I'm using the same concealer the Estee Lauder one that I kind of like cut the crease with my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm just gonna do a wing okay that wasn't too too much trouble but I've got my wings down and I'm honestly pretty happy with this look even with wings not even like lashes on yet I think it's really starting to get pulled together I'm really curious to see what it's magic looks like it kind of reminds me of what that like holo or not holographic duochrome shadow that's in like the Anastasia's um, subculture palette um, I think it's called a cube or something that's kind of what it's reminding me of so I'm gonna pop this in the inner corner I mean it's kind of a little random considering it it like reflects purple and like nothing in this palette matches it but I mean it's it's like pretty um, I'm definitely gonna have to cover that up though because it doesn't match so I'm kind of gonna go I'm gonna go with sorcery which is the silver which once again doesn't match what am I thinking so I'm gonna like I'm just gonna pop the gold in the inner corner I'm gonna use the other Wet n Wild one instead in Precious Petals, which is just a nice gold highlight. So this is the perfect um, brow bone type of a highlighter. So I'm gonna apply a thick layer of mascara because the lashes I wanna use are quite sparse, as you can see right here, and they're not very dramatic, but I kinda just really wanna test these. Like I've used these eyelashes before, but I kinda forget how they look, and I really wanna see the way they look. So I'm gonna apply a thick coat of mascara because they are very, very separated lashes, which is why I like these lashes, but I like to cut them up. But these are the one pair that I don't have cut up. So the lashes are the Ardell Wispies in the style 600. Okay, so I just lined my lips with the MAC Lip Pencil in the color Boldly Bare, which is a pretty nude pink. And then I'm gonna fill that in with Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the color Hunty from his summer collection. 
Well, yeah, last summer. I'm gonna go in with the Revlon gloss in the color Bellini. I'm hoping this is gonna bring it together and make it look real good. That's actually kind of real cute. It's a very like concealer lips type of a lip, but like I'm kind of living for it. Let me take down my hair. And then we'll see. Oh, my hair is looking a little greasy. Oh, that's why. It's a little messed up. There's a bog pin right there. So, my hair is looking kind of, kind of messy. But, so I think this is the finished look. I'm just going to spritz a little Mario de ba Mario Badescu facial spray in the rose water one just to give it a quick mist not really setting it you can set it if you want I'm about to take it off any minute so I'm just gonna add a little moisture to it and then take pictures and then take it off so I'm just gonna give that a not so quick spray Ew, I literally just tasted it and like ate it but like that's okay so overall I really really enjoy this palette um it's great. It's got great pigmentation. All the colors that I tried worked really well, and I have faith that all the other colors I didn't try worked really well, too. Because I tried the most part. I tried all the mattes, and the mattes are what really can get kind of funky. Based on the swatches, you can tell when a shimmery shadow is going to perform good based on the swatches. It's just sometimes the mattes can be a little finicky. But applying all the mattes on the eyes, they worked. Um, the black and the blue weren't the most pigmented, but were definitely buildable, and they got there. And then the other two like transitioning crease shades were amazing. And then all the crease shade or all the lid shades I tried were absolutely like incredible. Like very, very good formula. Very, very foil, just like crazy shimmery and looked really, really good on the eyes. I'm definitely gonna get the other ones because a neutral palette like this would be great just to have for like the everyday. And yeah, so overall, great. Highly would suggest y'all should go get it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video with a thumbs up, comment down below. What did you guys think? As well as subscribe to become a beauty and be part of our beautiful world. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!